It's just a boat, some would argue. I don't agree. A boat can be a way to freedom, a dream, an escape, a new romance, or a life passion. Every one of us who has nomad blood dreams to get on a boat and sail to faraway places. But not all of us with this dream live to see that day. Other things in life delay our dreams. This is a special video as a tribute to one of my best friends, Tom, who passed away three months after a short battle with cancer, leaving his boat and the cruising dream behind. Tom, his family, this boat, and our time together is one of the main reasons that I have accelerated our plans. I honor my wife and I, Captain William, plan to travel the globe now rather than later. Then imagine my other friend, Randy, who decided during COVID was time to leave the land, buy a boat, and live aboard. Sees this Durbeck, falls in love, and together we all decide to give the boat a new beginning. Watch this three episode story about Randy and his new Durbeck. Let's see if we can get this old girl back to the ocean and why it's not just the boat. This is part one of three. The first video we did, we met up with Randy and Bandit and looked at a Durbeck. Without broker. And that video you can see somewhere up there. That boat ended up not being quite what he wanted. But it was actually bought by our other followers. And where are they from? Maybe. They were from Maryland. Yep. They contacted us and said, hey, we're coming down to look at a boat. We'd like to meet up with you and they ended up buying that boat. Which is pretty amazing. We found another Durbeck, and we're going up this morning to turn the boat on, get it running, go out on the ocean and spend four days, five days, getting it from Daytona Beach down to Miami. Well, this is the optimistic one. That's our intention, <laughs> but it is a boat. Yes. Due to Tom's medical condition, and although he spent many days on the boat during this time, he was not able to do any maintenance. We are traveling today to Daytona Beach in hopes to get the boat into condition to bring her to Miami for a refit. I have no idea what we are in for, but know that the boat must be moved in one week. The car is packed with gear, tools and spare parts. We are meeting up with Randy in hopes that the three of us will be enough in getting the boat started and moved. I've never seen this boat before. But this is what boat life is all about. Wow, this is a very cool boat. Very nice. Randy got very lucky. Ooh, very nice, but a lot of work. <laughs> you know, it smells just like one of those boats that we visited. Old boat smell. And Phil. Wow, it's so like interesting. Oh, it has washer and dryer. That's good. Ooh. Oh, holy shit. What? Holy shit. What is that? Like a drug dealer roll lord? <laughs> Look at that glass! Randy, we stepped on your boat without you. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything while she was there. You wouldn't believe what she's done with this. Oh yeah, I know. I There was a path I walked through here. Yeah, no, I this know. was all boxes really? and papers. And she's taken truckloads of stuff yeah, off this I boat. I mean, this looks so much better than it did when I saw it. Isn't it? And she cleaned all the bedding. She just got it out of the washer and dryer. I don't think anyone's going to be sleeping much. <laughs> no, <laughs> right. Well, I don't think we will be, but <laughs> I understand that one. Believe me. Oh, nice jump, Bandit. 
this floods. Yeah. yeah so there's water in. coming in from here somewhere. And she said she saw water coming in the back. There's a bilge pump back there that works as soon as you plug in the boat. There was so much oil in it that she pumped it into buckets and she didn't want to put it out in the water because wow. it was making. So there's oil coming out of something. Well, the oil is coming out of the bilge. Oh, really? Is that I can bad? tell you everything about the boat. Yeah, right. it has nothing to do with, for years, the oil that he drained out stayed in the bilge. It didn't get pumped out of the bilge. Oh, my God. you got to be kidding me. So because there was nowhere to pump it out, so he just left it down there because oil doesn't hurt the bottom of the boat. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Because you haven't seen upstairs yet. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. And that's going to be, I got real plans for that. Go oh, ahead. I just got it open. Bennett, are you coming? Come on, Bennett. Ruff, ruff. Come on, hippity hop. Ruff, ruff. <laughs> it's <He'll> me. Come. <laughs> no. This is going to become a really nice state room, actually. No table. You need rid of that. You don't need that here. But this is going to pull out and pulls out. The back will drop down. This becomes a queen size bed. Uh, Randy is doing the motor sailor from this trawler, right? From the trawler. Going to turn a power boat from 45 years into a sailboat. Just like the real sailor. <laughs> Are you going to remove this thing? Yeah, that's all going away. Yeah, goes away. Can, can we grab that? <laughs> Yeah, to... yeah, well, the crow's nest oh, got to stay. I know a guy stay. who knows metal, and that, that has to stay. That's Tom's lookout, so that's going on the new map. I think this whole setup will work fine. With uh, We might have to alter that plate a little bit, the foot plate on that, the base plate on that thing. Yeah, but that's minor because you've got all, this is all, this is all cast. Oh, place. yeah, that's solid. All you got to do is attach to that. Let's go in the engine room. Well, we have four, day, four days to talk about design. I yeah, want to yeah. see what you kind of motor. I want to see what kind of battery so that we can go pick up a battery before West Marine closes out. I know you're in design mode. I'm in. What do I need to get at West Marine? The window was here. Somebody took it out. Vessel is super strong. Super great design. What we have to do now is go through the details, see what we are going to require to get her fired up and running. Put this back down and pull the couch over there so we can have this open and be walking through here. Maybe, yeah, yeah. that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Now let's roll this around. Oh, oh my God, it's so hot and humid. My t-shirt. It's like all wet. So take this, Randy, and this end. They are uh, preparing the boat oh, okay, to start running. William is looking for a battery type so he can go to West Marine and buy one. I guess so they can start the motor and the generator. So why do you need this charger? Because the batteries have not been charged in forever. And then why are we are buying another battery? If you have a backup battery, you're safe. Right. Mm. And it's you want to have one new battery. That way you don't worry about it. Very cheap insurance. Those are golf court batteries. They're not your marine battery. This is built like our boat is. So you don't get down there with two men and pick up the battery. You've got to come in with something. Oh, or you have really? to winch that out. heavy? They are heavier than most sailboat engines. Well, I know a guy that will remove them because then he gets money for them. Oh. As a female part of the voyage, naturally, I was sent to buy groceries for the four days of the travel if they were gonna make the boat run. And I wanna check this shop and see if I can get a present for Andy. All right, I think I got pretty lucky. I hope I did not exceed my who luck limit for this trip. I got the present, now I'm gonna go wrap it and gonna go get groceries. And I have to feed two men. I got like full freaking cart of the groceries. I'll manage that. Fridge. From us. 
open. A gold bikini? <laughs> well, if you're gonna wear it, I'll, I'll buy you, you one. You gave it to me, I'll wear it. <laughs> you, address, you address it a Russian nail here? What is this? I'll see. Like, Sorry, Ben, that was not your size. Well, you, I know you do. Look at what's. what's look. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I love it. Oh, very that's, cool. That's very nice. Very I like nice. that. Very yep. cool. You're I hope it looks that much like a sailboat when we're done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't think it will, but. <laughs> Wait, let me just scrape this there, off. There we go. That works. <laughs> Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. So guide it towards the boat? Okay, hold on a minute. I Wait a second, don't keep, don't lift it on me. Okay. I can't get set here. This is very awkward to move around. Okay, try it now. Okay, but it's gouging the bottom. How was it, Randy? <laughs> three basic functions of a boat. One, it needs to float. Two, it needs power. And three, it needs fuel to run. We're floating when the tide's not lower on the bottom. The boat has nine batteries in it and none of them have been replaced since 2017. They're all dead. What is the solution? I've bought a lot of groceries, so we must go. We have oars to row a 65 ton boat. Let's find a place to repair a semi truck so I can get a truck battery and that'll be large enough to make this beast turn over. Right now I'm hooking up the two marine batteries so we can check lights and check everything else tonight. And then tomorrow uh, we'll have to put in a big battery. It's over there to the right, I got it out already. See it? There's seven of those down here. All dead. Hey buddy, what are you doing here? What? How is the progress? We're getting there. We have successfully gotten the running lights to work, the anchor light to work, very important for anchoring. And we are anchoring? If we're anchoring. You always have to assume you're anchoring because if something goes wrong, you have to throw out the anchor. The anchor is your best friend. So. We've also added LED lights on the port and starboard. 
for temporary running. And luckily, the electrical were all working up in the pilot house after me hooking up some wires down below and changing the batteries. So right now we're just taking our checking our electrical systems and getting the boat navigable. Where are those, uh, right there. Yes. On at West Marine, multicolored lights, and they can be red, green, blue, or white. Depends on which wire you hook up. They can be any color you want them to be. So we can make one port and one starboard with That's the, sa with the same light. Can't you just buy one green and one sure red? You can. $145 each. These were 19 Yeah, exactly. And, ninth, and, and I like LED because they just last forever. They never go bad. You guys are such scragglers. I will not tell you how much I spent on food. <laughs> anchor? Yes. In case we needed an anchor light. Uh, I'm waiting for us to get on the way so I can climb right here. It's busted, mm. so I put temporary bolts. Well, I'll get to, to the middle. You're not going anywhere. If this clips over on your head, you're not be going nowhere. Absolutely, I will be climbing there. That's scary. Oh, oh yeah, they're not sleeping, they're alive. Don't get close. It's just the boat, some would argue. We don't agree. A boat is our freedom, our home, our romance, and life passion for travel. So what is a boat to you? Share this video with friends and family that have always dreamt about doing something and how short time could be. Hi, how are you? Oh yeah, I can see it, see it there. Yeah, it's huge. It's the size of my car. You know, it runs 11, 1200 RPM. Well, do you mind if I just step down there? I just want to make sure I don't see or smell anything. I won't be down there. Yeah, it's, that way we can make sure we fully put people's minds at ease, right? Yeah, I got you. Cause, yeah, because there's nothing going in the water. Yeah. We, again, remember, it's a dry stack engine. Yes. It exhausts to the outside. It doesn't use water cooling. Yeah.